I cannot believe what I just saw right now. I cannot even fathom how they lost this game. I cannot even... I. Uh, um, the Bears lose to the Denver Broncos uh, by a score of 30, 31 to 28. Uh, choking, a, I believe it was 28 to 7 lead um, in the second half. We, I, Dude, at this point, I don't even know what to say anymore. How every single week we find a new way to lose in heartbreaking, heartbreaking fashion. Justin Fields had his best game as a pro. He threw for over 300 yards. And four touchdowns. And we still lost. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Bears are 0-4. Um, this is the, the... That was a generational choke job that I just watched. And I, I, I don't even... I don't even have the words right now. Um, I'm a little sick right now. That's why my voice is a little bit raspy. Oh my god. So the Bears, they go up by a large amount in the first half. Uh Justin Fields looked awesome. He looked quick. He looked decisive. Um our defense was they were they were holding it together. They were holding it together. And then in the second half, um Justin goes a little bit quiet. They kind of take the ball out of his hands. They start running it a lot, getting very conservative. Denver gets the ball back. They Score, take it 28-14. All right, that's fine, whatever. Uh, then the Bears do nothing on their next drive. They punt. Then the Broncos score again. All right, whatever. Just keep keep driving. And then Justin Fields gets sack fumbled. Bron Broncos pick it up, bring it into the end zone. And now it's a tie game. And then, and then, and then it all just unravels from there. Justin... They 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 push all the way down to the twenty yard line, and they go for it on fourth down, even though it's a tie game. And all you need is three points to win. Instead, they go for it on fourth down. They don't convert it because they hand it to Khalil Herbert, and everyone could tell that they weren't going to convert it. Everyone could tell that they were about to give the ball to Herbert. And of course, the Broncos immediately get a chunk play down the field to take them into field goal range. They kick the field goal. Our, our defense holds them up, gives us some time. And then Justin Fields, who cannot do a two-minute drive to save his life, throws an interception, and it's game over. And just like that, we went from soaring in the first half, absolutely flying, one of the best games I've ever seen from Justin we just we we just let it slip away from our fingers just like that it, it didn't even feel real we just completely took our foot off the gas Justin had his best game ever from a throwing standpoint our defense is so bad it's so bad I don't even know what to say because Justin didn't even look that bad it's not even his fault but good God, this coaching staff needs to go in a major way because, and, and it's not even that, you know, we missed Braxton Jones this game. Larry Borum was horrible, horrible, but we knew he was bad. The amount of penalties he committed, we had 78 yards at least of penalties. Just constantly letting the Broncos back into this game. An awful Broncos team that led up 70 last week. And their 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 offense just just diced us all game. Our D-line still cannot get sacks. We got one sack. We pressure we ran we Russell Wilson got pressure. He ran around but still can't get sacks and that's a healthy D-line and our 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 secondary that was completely torched. I just, This is one of the worst Bears seasons I've ever seen in my life. Even when they find a way to look great. And I thought we were going to win this game no problem at halftime. To 
Let that game slip away in the manner in which you did is inexcusable. If they do not fire these coaches, not saying you have to do it now. I would like you to do it now. But if they still think that this is the right coaching staff, I seriously have a hard time believing that this team will ever be successful. Because you had week one and week three were blowouts. Week two was a 10-point pretty annoying loss. And now you have a choke. Like every week, it's something different. They wasted Justin Fields. He, he came out and he was amazing in that first half. And then he kind of lost his confidence a bit. Broncos were getting in the backfield and sacking him. Guys weren't getting open. Getsy was getting too cute with his play calls. And then they get that sack fumble. And it's like, we let them right back into this game. This was supposed to be the get right game. At halftime, I thought it was. And then it just, just like that, just flies away. I'm very raw right now. Still kind of processing that game, but that was a team loss right there. That was an absolute collapse. I know I'm smiling, but dude, all I can do is laugh at that because how horrible of a game was that? And where do we go from here? If we can't beat that Broncos team, I do not see us winning a game. I really let that one get away from us. Really did. And it wasn't even Justin's fault. It wasn't even a quarterback issue. That was a coaching loss. Our defense was bad. Our O-line kept committing penalties. DJ Moore had a great game. I just cannot get over how we went from that first half to that second half. That first half is the Bears I thought we were going to see this year. Justin looked amazing. Throwing a DJ Moore, Cole Komet had two tutties. And then the second half, they just... Shh. It all went away. And now you're 0-4. We've lost 14 in a row. We got to face uh, Commanders this Thursday. Don't think we'll win that one. And then we got to face the Raiders. We'll see what happens there. That was inexcusable. There is not a doubt in my mind now that this coaching staff needs to go. This team is so fundamentally broken. And I think Ryan Poles, he's on thin ice too. Chase Claypool is probably going to be traded now. He was a healthy scratch. Equinemia St. Brown looked a lot better than him. And... Um, yeah, that's another uh, that's another failure right there for Ryan Poles. You trade number thirty two overall, and now they're asking for a fifth or a sixth round pick for Chase Claypool. Good, nice going, dude. Nice going. Oh my god. Um, I'm just so so angry right now that they that they managed to lose that game. Truly snatching defeat from the jaws of victory right there. Justin looked great. That was his best game from a passing standpoint ever, ever. And they, they just choked it right away. Flus, your defense is horrible. Absolutely God awful. This is the worst defense I've ever seen in Chicago. And that's saying a lot. I don't care that we're missing Eddie Jackson and Jalen Johnson. Because that D-line should still be getting sacks, and they're just not. And we have three great linebackers that are also being misused. Luke Getze, I've been done with for a while, but that, oh my God. We had a 28-7 to lead. Justin Fields had 280 yards, four touchdowns. This was looking like his Mitch Trubisky against the Bucks game. I was getting ready to be happy and said the Bears were back in this video. And they lost. They lost. They found a way to lose this game. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that they found a way to lose that game. You watch the first half. It almost felt like a quiet comeback. Where they got a touchdown, I'm like, eh, I'm not too worried. Fields is cooking. 
And then it was like, what happened? And then Fields reverted back to his old ways. He started holding on to the ball too long. He started just reverting to his check downs. And then we lost lost the game. I just I'm I'm just I'm just so done. Like this team is so bad. They cannot do anything right. Oh my god. Yeah, um so Thursday against the Commanders we're going to lose um and then we're going to be 0 and 5. This team's taking a lot out of me. It's taking a lot out of me. I'm sick right now. You're you're picking on an ill person. I'm just I'm just struggling to even find the words. I'm trying to be analytical. I'm trying to tell you why we lost and all that, but I just can't even fathom what happened. This team is horrible. I'd be cool if they could fire everybody tomorrow. For their own sake. And this isn't a bad roster. I've said it a million times. We've seen what they can do in that first half. To see a team go from playing great to playing horrible, that's how you know it's a coaching staff problem. This is one of the worst losses I've ever experienced as a Bears fan. It's not often we get chokes like this. I can't remember the last time we blew a lead like this. Maybe that Packers game a year ago. Well, we lost. Panthers lost. We're now in the sole possession of the first two picks in the draft. If Fields keeps playing like that, maybe we don't have to take Caleb Williams. Ah. All I'm saying is, in the film review this week, Getsy, just look at the first half and just keep doing that. Because Justin was shining. He looked great. To lose that game in the manner in which you did. I have zero faith in this season. This is one of the worst bear seasons I've ever experienced. And we're four games in. God, man. I'm just... I'm, I'm just in such disbelief right now. That we managed to lose that. I know I keep saying it. And you guys don't want to hear my raspy voice anymore, but holy Christ. The Bears have managed to screw this up in a major way. Major way. At halftime, I was like, man, you know, things are finally looking up. This was our get right game. And we lost. We lost. We let them score like 30 unanswered points. This team from top to bottom, that locker room has to be in shambles by now. Because how do you lose 14 games in a row and still keep a good culture? You can't. So Eberflus needs to be out of here. Poles, um, I'm iffy on. But good God, this losing is not, it can't continue. Otherwise, we're never going to have a good culture again. We were already having problems before, but I feel like now you're going to see guys really turn on the coaches because that felt like a coaching loss 100%. You can blame the defense. You can blame Fields. I 100% want to blame the coaches. Where do we go from here? Like, that was as good as it felt like it's going to get. Felt like everybody was on their offense was playing up to their potential. Herbert had a nice game, and then we just we just gave it to him. So yeah, Bears. Um, this is horrible. This is this is not good. This is one of the worst seasons I've ever seen, and I don't see it getting any better. If we couldn't win this game against the Broncos team that gave up seventy last week. And our defense only put up 20 on that Miami defense that just got gassed by Buffalo. To go out there and lose like that to that team, who is also in contention for the worst team in the NFL. To do that to them. 
This team's on a whole nother level. I don't see us winning a single game this year. Genuinely, I'm going to say it right now. I don't think we're going to do it. Because that, you cannot win like this. So yeah, uh, God, I don't even know what to say. Um, we suck. This is bad. This it's over.